Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Stock Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. So, we're gonna try and figure out how to find another biome to get some science from uh, here around Ike. And so, I'm topping off this, and we'll quickly try and get to another Ike biome. I mean, we don't have any contract for it, but I really want the science so that we can unlock other things. We'll probably have to do a quick min miss mission too to milk some more science like that. We don't have a whole lot of opportunities like this though, because um, the RCS thrusters we don't have more mob propellant for. Uh, my guess would be we have like five more dockings just to be safe, so. I mean, if we take a look at where we've got flags planted, it doesn't look like we've got a flag planted in this one, but is this dark plane the same as this dark plane? I don't know. Well, I mean, I already did one docking, I only used four units of mod propellant there. So, I mean, technically I could have estimated like, uh, like eight total dockings, so. But I want to be safe. Most important thing is to remember to thrust limit the RCS thrusters, otherwise they're too OP. Especially for something this size. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll try and land here and see if- well, we'll EVA above this area and then see if it's something new and then try and land. Okay, so, fill me, Kerman. Eastern Mountain Ridge. Well, it seems like it's new. Yeah, another one, right? I thought Filney had planted his own flag. Uh, Central Mountain Ridge. Central Mountain. Well, okay, so let's just bring it to a halt here and try and land in this area. We're on a very definite downward trajectory. Ike's looking better these days, of course. Uh, yeah, I forget if the baguettes are stock. I think they are. Uh, this, uh, Winnebago is actually the Mark II lander can. It has a different, um, texture, if you will, to choose. That'll turn it into this. It normally looks like a cylinder. Okay. Why, why is it skidding? Gosh darn slope. Okay, uh, crew report. Midlands. Well, that wasn't what I was going for, but I think it's still new. Okay, uh, watch out. <laughs> this is a little bit precarious. Okay, Filney at the Midlands. Hmm. I don't have anything to say. Smushed your poor Kerbal? Well, they, they can't get smushed, surely. I mean, just... Your Kerbal was trapped under it, you mean, or something. I don't know. Now, we had a different mountain ridge off back here, so I'm gonna actually go... No, we probably don't have enough fuel for that. Let's just go back up to the depot and then refuel and do that. You panicked. Never panic. <sighs> Easier said than done, right? Yes. Well, I wasn't trying to quote Hitchhiker's Guide, but there we are. Ooh. Oh god. I didn't realize it was so inclined. Okay. I should have paid attention to that target marker a little bit better. Well, that'll do. 0.1 kilometers. Don't worry, we'll be landing again. We, we'll get some more science from somewhere else. When it's gotta go, it's gotta go, you know. <laughs> Have you ever heard uh, of a rocket uh, put on hold because a flight controller had to go pee? No. 
Or an astronaut, for that matter. <laughs> he didn't put the rocket on hold. He just peed where he was. Now I've just encouraged everybody to go uh, to pee themselves while watching rockets launch. Great. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, no, the... Uh, which EVA suit? So, I mean, the P is captured separately, but... Yeah, they recycle everything. Yep. I mean, obviously, the EVA suits have to capture P. They're out there for six hours. You don't think they're just holding it the whole time, do you? Oh, no, it's... it's I, I, I was mistaken about the orientation, okay. Mm. Alright, let's control from here now. We, we can safely assume that if it wasn't just water, it'd be a much bigger problem, but... Um, there's just water going throughout the whole thing. Urine is just going straight to the cleaner, if you will. But water is being circulated throughout the garment, so... Much more likely that it's gonna be... Yes, um, uh, and the, the previous EVA with Luca Parmitano, they were concerned about that. Yes, yes, they can can drown in their suits. Yes. Why is it? I want to see the puffs. Stop not showing me the puffs. That uh, should be close enough for magnetism. There you go, uh, docked with uh, one unit of mod propellant, Kerblink Smasher. Oh, you can. You just have to practice. What they, uh, they always tell me, you need Navy Fish's docking alignment thingamajig. Yawn. <laughs> docking mode? I've never even looked at docking mode. The only thing it ever does is mess me up when I'm trying to find some other mode. <laughs> I think at one point it was supposed, supposedly helpful to um, use docking mode for rovers to drive them, but I, I never figured that one out. So. Last time, we, we ended up in the Midlands, but there was supposed to be a mountain range there. It should have looked like we were in a slope, but I guess there are even slopier slopes. So, we're gonna go back over here. This was the Midlands, but somewhere over here is, um... Some other mountain range. Large craft. I've, I've done large craft. I've done hundreds of tons together. So, I would still prefer, um... Uh, Megjeb just holding negative parallel for me while I do the translation bit. Save you a lot of hassle. Yeah, Megjeb's negative parallel is sufficient for me on that. That saves a lot of hassle. Because, uh, I mean, I do it automatically, you know, just uh, orienting so that my docking port is facing the opposite direction as the other docking port, and then I translate. But sometimes I misjudge the angles on that, so. Having Mechjeb hold that for me while I'm doing the translation helps. Assuming Mechjeb doesn't wiggle. I don't know, but but you, you can't really do things from the Kerbal point of view, so I don't know if VR compatible is great. Um, maybe if they had so that you can do everything from the a, Kerb, a single Kerbal's point of view. You know, not just IVA. Okay, so there's the Eastern Mountain Range. We, we, we already got that. Um, but let's... we need to stop right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I say yes, please. Yeah, maybe KSP2, but I mean, probably they've already got too much on their plate for KSP2. I don't know. Oh. Well, let's see. Does this seem like it'd still be a good thing? Oh, well, okay. We will find out. Um, you. It looks like uh, the inside of a Winnebago, more or less. 
<laughs> Except with the downward facing windows, which is nice. I like that. Good for landing those. But then when you uh, go back into... When you try and do EVAs, you can't do much. How does it know which hatch I want the Kerbal to pop out of anyway? Maybe from the control point? Because there's two hatches on here. I don't think I can sync up with the music. Oh well. Ah, no, don't hover. Okay, please tell me it's still the mountain range. Uh, let's let's do the whole uh, grab all the things. Board. Report. Eastern Mountain Ridge. Okay. Okay. So Philney at the Eastern Mountain Ridge. It occurs to me we might have some other stuff to do around here. But related to one of our different craft that are that is in the area. But we'll get to that. Did we have another like base uh, that Ike base? We'll see about that. Let's just get Filney up for a, for a sec. No, right now we're just trying to get science. Um, we've got, you know, uh, a Drez satellite to do. We've got a new orbital station around Duna, and then the Sentinel telescope's doing its thing, and then we got a satellite and a Tundra orbit around Jewel. The thing is, we need science to unlock technology so that we could have comms to Jewel or Drez. So that's what I'm doing. I need 550 science altogether to get good comms. I think that was for science, yeah. But we didn't actually do the science there because of complications. So here I'm doing the negative parallel thing. You see that this docking port is facing this way. I'm making my docking port face that way. Space engineers, I, I think I deleted. That's too involved. You really need to, uh, like, be doing that for, you know, be prepared for doing that for a few months kind of thing. You can't just jump into it, so. Okay. So what I want to do is check on that Ike base temporarily, too. Because I think it's got deployables. Yeah, it's got these things, right? So the Kerbal could deploy them. I don't know how to use them yet. But presumably this is a thing we can do, right? And um, it's got plenty of Delta V to land, 1,400. So first of all, I would like to, while we have communication, transmit the science that we've got here. If we can, if it's worth transmitting. So, uh, EVA report. Report. That one we'll just uh, keep. EVA report. Keep. Any Kerbal can? Well, we've got a pilot, <laughs> and that's all we've got. Um, what what could happen if uh, it's just a pilot deploying all of the things? I mean, what is the benefit for an art engineer doing it? So we'll try and land the Kerbal at a new location, new biome, and then uh, we will land the base there. Yeah, so we'll do we'll do all the little science deployment things. Okay, let's make sure we're controlling from here. Oof. Oh, the science trickles in? Oh, gosh darn it. Stupid science lab stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> well, whatever. We time warp quite a lot anyway. 
The Sentinel Telescope still hasn't said that it's actually found anything, so I don't know. I'm a bit worried about it. This might be something new. We haven't actually got any flags on this side. And that's the side with communication right now. You've been wondering about the Sentinel as well? Yeah, I mean, I had launched it in my Realism Overhaul thing and it was, it kept going. Did I turn it on? I thought you had told me to turn it on like right away anyway. Um, you know what, let's just, because I'm concerned right now, let me just go to it quickly. Let's take a peek before I forget again. Uh, we're just checking on this telescope and then we're gonna land a base on Ike to deploy its modules. It says stop object tracking, so I assume it's... But why is it mapping Duna? Infrared... Well, I guess I can transmit this, right? Do I... Do we have to track and track? I didn't think so. I, well, at least... Well, I'm gonna reset it. Passing near Duna orbit. Well, okay, anyway, we reset it. Well, we have a contract. It says we're in the right orbit. Fine, but... It hasn't produced any results after 11 years! That's all I'm saying. It should pop up. I mean, I thought it was supposed to pop up every time it got one result. Right? It's supposed to go, boop, we got one, boop, we got one, and it gets 15, but... We haven't gotten any. At this rate, it's gonna take like 165 years minimum. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It told us to be in that inclination. It told us to be there, and it says it's... What do you mean inclination doesn't match on the contract? Look, it checked marked the orbit. See? Reached a minimal designated orbit around the sun with minimal deviation check mark. That means we've done it. It's satisfied. This is the map 15 asteroids threatening carbon with an inclination greater than 37. Now, maybe there's just no asteroids that spawn that have an inclination greater than 37. That's pretty unlikely, isn't it? I thought they all basically sat in the same plane anyway. Where are all the asteroids? They're all sitting in the same plane. Will there ever be an asteroid with an inclination greater than 37? Every couple of weeks. Well, let's check if it's... Uh, I mean, it's pretty away from the sun right now. That's the camera. That's the sun. I think it's this inclination requirement that they have. It says mapping Duna, which I guess is all, all right, but that's what it's supposed to say. I, I don't know. Well, it's definitely odd. Whatever is going on is odd. Okay, southeastern mountain range. So, what? No, no. Filmy Kerman has to board. Board Filmy Kerman. Let me just. I'm just gonna come to a dead stop horizontally. And, uh, check. I guess I could just do a crew report, but. It says so. There's a crew. Yeah, I was wondering about that. There seems to be two crew hatches, but I don't know how to get them to get out the top one. Okay, who followed? Follower train has followed. Okay. How's our science? Not nearly enough. Though if we bring the surface samples back, it would be. Okay, fill me at the southeastern range. I mean, uh, as far as clicking the top hatch, I mean, I don't think it's can be cosmetic. I mean, why tease us like that? Well, you need 
See, it's got grab and board. Now, if we have Phil in the EVA, does he go from the top or from the back? Still from the back. Um, let's say if we uh, change the control point to forward. Now, when he EVAs, still from the back. And reversed. Still from the back. So the control point doesn't seem to be the determining factor here. Hmm. So it's a hatch, but I don't know how to get them out of it. They can get in through that. I guess if the back is obstructed, they go out through that, but who knows. Alright, so let's see about landing the Ike base here. We need to be careful about communications. This is uncrewed right now. Hmm. And now that location isn't uh, quite as communicative as it used to be. If we try and land right now, I think the, the um, terrain will block our communication right when we're about to land. So we need that Ike Depot and Lander Relay over here. But we're in sort of compatible orbit, so it's just going to end up over there at that point. Hmm. I mean, but there seems to be... Well, there's that claw rescue thing that can act as a relay, apparently, on that side. So we've got stuff that can act as a relay on the Duna side. We wait until the landing location is on the Duna side. Okay, well, I'll time warp in the tracking station until that point and then reassess. Oh, but Ike is lot. Uh, what you call it? Um, it's tightly locked, so that that location will never actually face Duna. Might be uh, that that satellite will be in a position to help when we're trying to land on the next go. Ten levels of... we don't need... No, I, I was just joking. No, I don't actually like the part count limit. I think it's not... I think I actually think it's horrible. Stop. <laughs> Stop. No. You've, you've taken the wrong lesson. No clipping parts? I clip parts all the time. Uh, not so much on this, I don't think. But... And only... only for, uh... Only for design purposes. Uh, I usually dump fuel if a uh, uh, fuel tank is clipped. That kind of thing. So, Otherwise it's hard mode, uh, so the rewards from the contracts are less. Alright, alright. Well, mine's is a French Winnebago. Because it's got baguettes instead of wheels. Okay. Is that okay with everybody? I have to be careful not to actually land on top of this stupid thing. Not as close as I was looking for, but I guess I'll do. That's a heck of a slope. Okay, so that's the inventory. I assume we're gonna need that. Let's get the comm thing first. Or maybe the power thing. Let's get the power thing first. Photovoltaic panel. I think that'll be go. Uh, no. Uh, like that. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I figured, otherwise there wouldn't be the black back plaque blah, 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 backpack slot in the first place. Okay, now how do I actually deploy it? Okay. Yeah, fine, place it. Ooh, it has a little sound to it. Ooh. Okay. Uh that you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Why did you turn that way first?
Okay. Making sure. Turn the wrong way first and not good. First ever deployment of these modules. Okay, Communitron seems like a good deal. Click. Alright. I wonder why it's not just drag and drop. It has to be click and drop. Go the wrong way first. I didn't know this was an RPG. <laughs> I do get lost in RPGs though. This uh, hopping around seems awkward. More awkward than usual. Is there a maximum distance they have between each other? To like work properly? Well, I guess we can always move it later. Thirty meters? That should all be within thirty meters. Experiment control station seems like the next important thing. Yeah, this hobble is just decidedly more erratic than the usual Kerbal hobble right now. Maybe the slope involved? I don't know. Have other mods made use of this inventory system to do things yet? Yeah, which mods? I mean, there is always Kerbal inventory system, but I'm wondering if there are any that uh, have used this one. Deployable batteries mod? LGG, huh? That's the only one? Hmm. How big a thing can you make deployable? I mean, let's say I wanted to deploy an um, inflatable habitat. Or something. Hmm. I wonder what the limits are. Okay, uh... Weather analyzer is probably not the most important thing around here, but I guess. But let's go with the seismometer, that's probably the best deal. Linux Kruger. Okay, okay, yeah. Should've known. Oh, that needs more than one solar panel? I didn't notice. I just packed one of each thing. This power state unpowered. That's a little bit weird. Two. Oh, it needs a, they need a lot more power, huh? Gosh darn it. Powers two. RTG powers four. It seems like uh, this produces only one actually. Maybe it powers two on Kerbin, but it only powers one out here. And so the only thing is really powering is the Communitron. Let me disable that. Because we've got another antenna just on the base itself. I don't know if, uh, well, but if we have an experiment control station, that's the only thing that works. Um, that doesn't help us any because we actually need it to be able to do experiments. Oh wait, but this Grand Slam passive seismometer, oh wait, it's doing its animation first. Yeah, it requires one. Can send lots of power. At great expense. Probably first we'll do it for the moon and Mimus, but uh... Gosh darn it, where was the RTG? I, I think we didn't even unlock the RTG yet, because we don't have that science. Uh, well, we'll just deploy all these things and... Whatever. <laughs> we'll have to send... Well, Philney's gotta be staying here permanently, okay? Just telling you. We're not abandoning him or anything, it's just...
we never actually intended on bringing him back. That's all. Okay. So that's fine. We're gonna take the data and put it in there and then try and transmit, I think. This is our first sort of permanent establishment. Okay, so review stored data. Let's transmit that. And we don't have a whole lot of electric charge. We have got the solar panels, but not the stored charge. Transmit. Okay. Transmit. Transmit. And keep that for now and keep that for now. Transmit that. Alright. So, let's take a look at the situation with the ones around the moon in Minmus. Philney has done Philney's duty, and we still need about 252 science to unlock the technology that I wanted. 